This video is going to look at how to set up and use shared photo streams on an iPad. So with iOS 7 you can now share your videos and photos to other people. And so let's have a look at how you do that. Open the Photos app and go to the Shared tab. And you can see I already have a, a shared stream, a picture of the cat. Uh, and that's shared by me and then I can share that to uh, anyone I want either publicly with a public link or by a direct invitation. So to start a new shared stream tap the plus, give the stream a name so this one I'll call the dog, the next and then you have to add the email addresses of those you want to share with and you can add them from typing manually straight in that two line or you can use your contacts and pick somebody from the contacts and it actually gives me some ones that I've used recently. So before I actually put in the email addresses I'm going to create the stream. So there's the, the dog shared stream which has nothing in it at the moment and the reason I didn't put the people in first is that I want to, by tapping people, turn on public website. So anyone who has this link can see the shared website and they can view the videos, they can download the videos, they can see the photos and download them, they can have a slideshow of the photos if you give them the link. The people you invite to share that stream in order for them to post additional content, so they might have photos of their own to add to the stream or video they want to add or they want to comment on a photo or like a photo, then they have to have an iOS device, so an iPad, an iPhone, an iPod Touch or a Mac computer uh, and have an iCloud account. So for anyone I've invited that doesn't have those prerequisites, they can only look at those photos and videos through the public link. Notifications, turn it on so that when anybody adds a video or a photo or comments on, on a shared stream you'll get a notification so you can see what they've said. So now I've got some of the basic settings there. I've, I've, I want subscribers to post, I want the shared stream to be publicly available only to those I share the link to and I want notifications turned on. I haven't got any content in yet so I don't really want to invite anybody before I do. So tapping the blue plus will open your camera roll where I can select anything I want to add to that stream. So just by tapping there's a video and a couple of photos and you can just go up and down your camera roll and add more photos and when you've done that tap done. And I'm just about ready to post so I can add a comment here so that those that are invited know what this stream's about and then post. So there are the photos in the stream and one video, three photos, one video shared by me. Now who do I want to send them to? So tapping people, I can invite people. So I'll send it to myself and add and then I'll invite somebody else and this person I know does not have an iCloud account nor a Mac device. I'm going to add that person. And then an email is sent to them. Now if they don't get the email, if you tap on each person, so if I tapped on this person, I can resend the invitation and go out of there. So when I check my mail, I have a mail message that's inviting me to subscribe to that photo stream. By tapping subscribe to this photo stream, it opens up that photo stream on your device. So because I'm attempting to share it with myself, it's giving me this message, this photo stream is no longer shared. You can't share a photo stream with multiple people who have the same iCloud account. They all need to have different iCloud accounts. So it's, it's not uh, saying when I tap OK, the stream's still there. It's shared by me, it's not shared by me and me and me, and all my other email addresses. Let's just check the email of the other person I sent it to. So this is the other person I sent it to. Subscribe. Show the images. So the same message is given to everybody. 
but this person does not have an iOS device or Mac. So I subscribe to the photo stream. To subscribe, I need to have that those prerequisites signed into iCloud on any of those devices. So it doesn't work with a Windows device. It's got to be an iOS Mac device. And if you haven't got that, then all you're able to do is to view it on the web. So that's why I enabled that public link. So you can see the photos. There's three photos and a video there. And I can go and look at the video. I can watch that video. I can download that video. I can look at the photos and download those photos. So even though you know, some of your relatives and friends may not have an Apple or an iCloud device, they can still see the photos. It's still a better way of sharing than emailing these. So what else can you do with the shared stream? If you have got someone who's got the right prerequisites, then they can add a image or a video to the same stream and you would see that in the activity. So anything new that happens in that in those streams would be apparent through the activity. Now to delete anything from your stream, you go into the shared tab of the photos app tap the stream so this is the stream that I want to add something to so I can tap the plus pick another picture and done and that adds to the stream and post that out to all the people who are subscribing to it if you want to delete something from the stream tap select tap a photo and tap the trash can and then you can delete the photo or if you want to cancel it they select it now anyone who's, who's sharing your photo stream will be able to see those photos and if somebody puts a comment on there you'll be able to see it well here's an example of the photo that's in that shared photo stream that i've added a comment comment to so the dog is playing and there's a you and, it, and someone else who's sharing that stream can add a comment to that or they can like it and you'd see that in your activity. Now you also know that there's comments on the photos because when you look at one you can see down here there is a one and when you tap that one you actually get the, the comments or the interaction on that photo. When you want to add uh, a new photo or a video to one, of, to one of your streams and you select the photo and you can see there is a photo selected here and then it's asking which stream do you want to put that in. So I've got two and it also tells you who you've shared it with or you can create a new shared stream. You could also create a shared photo stream. Go back to photos of nothing in particular. And I wanted to, to share some of these screen captures with somebody. So I'm going to select them from straight from the, the camera roll. Just pick a few pictures. Tap the sharing button, share them to iCloud. Put in, a, in a, a comment, it's optional, but it's also useful. So this is going to be a comment for screen captures. And then I'm, I'm asked before I'm able to post it, which stream do you want it to go in? I can select it here. I do not want it to go into the dog or the cat. I want a new shared stream, which is going to be called captures then you need to put the email addresses in so I'll send it to myself send it to that person then next then post and I can have a look in the shared tab for that stream captures then I want to turn on the public website to share the link and then you've got the same three things I want the subscribers to be able to post to have notifications turned on I invited two people I can go in there and resend the invitation or remove them from a subscriber or invite more people so invite another person add another one of my email addresses add and then go back into that one and Resend the invitation. So now I've got three streams. Now you can do a slideshow of that stream from there, changing your transitions or turning them on and off. You only get one type. 
play music with it, select your music from your music app, start the slideshow, and then back to streams. So you can manage your streams, delete people from them, delete media from the stream, add new streams and add new people. And it's all accessible via shared.